We welcome you to Merlot Field on the campus of the University of Portland, another edition of Pilot Soccer this Sunday evening. Welcome in, everybody. Tom Holder, Matt Coffey. Excited to bring you Portland and Davidson, second all-time meeting between these two teams. The Pilots 1-1-1 one, one, one on the season, coming in off their first win this year, Matt. 3-0 against George Washington University and getting some to take on the Davidson Wildcats. Davidson 1-1-0, one, one, oh, a win over... Wake Tech 2-1 in overtime and a 2-0 loss down the road in Corvallis to Oregon State. So second meeting for second week, the Pilots are facing an A-10 opponent and uh, second all-time meeting against this team here in Davidson and uh, Portland coming off a great performance, 3-0 against GW. Yeah, great performance on Friday night against George Washington. And another A-10 opponent coming in here to Merlot Field and weather's looking nice for the players. A little bit of rain flowing throughout the day and should be ball should be zipping around all over the wet pitch so it should be an exciting one again player to watch for davidson we mentioned their 2-1 win against wake tech it's jamie deluzio who got the game winner in overtime on a penalty kick he wears number nine he'll be up top in the starting live tonight he made 17 appearances last season he was rated the number one player out of New York in 2017, his freshman year by Top Drawer Soccer. And there he is, he got the game winner against Wake Tech. For the Portland Pilots, there he is, number 17, Gio Magana Rivera. Got a goal against GW, playing well, finally healthy for the first time in a long time, and you're seeing the benefits of that, man. Yeah, Gio Magana Rivera finally back and healthy and looked so good on Friday, buzzing around the field as a number 10, getting a goal and just looked dangerous all night long. So good to see Gio back on the field, and we'll, the, the Pilots will be looking for a big-time performance again for him, for him tonight. Let's take a look at the starting lineup tonight for Davidson, the visitors, and a Sawyer Gaffney in goal. Really a back five or a back three, depending on how you look yep. at it. But uh, Malcolm McCabe, Travis Brathwaite, Lewis Evans, Jack Wilson, Henry Howell, the back line. Quinn Dudek, another good attacker out on the wing. Charlie Castle gets a start in the middle. Mateo Alzate, Jamie Deleuze, we mentioned, and Jalen Thompson on the right-hand side. Yeah, it'll be a back three uh, when the Davidson Wildcats have the ball. Back five when they do not have the ball. And they'll look to get numbers behind the ball to stifle this dangerous Portland attack. Portland Pilots, meanwhile, going with a little bit of a different starting lineup. And the big notice, the big difference is in goalkeeper. Jack Laguda getting his, or pardon me, Josh Laguda getting his first start to transfer from Loyola, Chicago. Yep. And then you look at this lineup, you know, Pierre, Tiazzo, O'Hara, Calvo, Artiego, Magana Rivera, Jujulu back in the starting lineup, yep. Reyes, Hindel, and Ortiz. Describe it as a 4-1-4-1, depending on, you know, which side of the ball they're on, really. Yep, yep. When the pilots have the ball, it'll look a lot like a 4-1-4-1 with the back four, Jake Artiego, the single holding midfielder in front of them, and the two wide midfielders with uh, Juju Ulu and Magana Rivera in front of Artiego as the double eight or double number 10, however you want to look at it, with the high forward, Luke Hendel. Ortiz also back in the starting lineup, so you yep. have him on one side and Reyes on the other. That's a dangerous attack. If yeah, two, two very dangerous wide midfielders for the Pilots love to attack their defenders one-on-one -on -one and get crosses and service into the box with Reyes looking to get essentially a bit more playing on the left side. And as a right footer, he'll look to dribble inside and get shots on goal and little slip through balls into for his forwards. Mentioned just the second all-time meeting between these two teams, Portland, a 4-1 win in Charlotte against Davidson back in 1995. We'll take a timeout, come back with the kickoff. It's Portland and Davidson coming up next on the WCC Network.
Portland, one last huddle here. These are my favorite uniforms as a broadcaster. Oh, yeah, very Purple sharp. and white, yep. black, Davidson. Conversely, in their white uniforms with red trim. You have the old uh, racing stripe down the middle of the jersey for the Davidson Wildcats. We got a bunch of the matching bright green boots out there for the pilots. The whole entire back four wearing the bright green boots, actually. Love to see that. It was it Mel Hindell wearing the black boots? Yeah, the majority go. of the guys out there in the green. All right, it's just good. about set to go. Just in time for Halloween, yeah, huh? That's right. So our first look tonight at Laguna should be interesting. He was the Missouri Valley Conference goalkeeper of the year last year. Nine shutouts, a .66 goals against average, 78% uh, save percentage. And he's been in a battle with Camisano all season. Uh, we got to start the first few games, but now we're going to get a look at the transfer from Loyola. Yeah, not out of the ordinary to see uh, just to, just switch it up, especially on a Sunday kickoff on short rest. So we'll be it'll be interesting to see Josh Laguda out here. Fifth year senior, very experienced and uh, just a great guy as well. Hails from Australia and super nice, personable, always riding his bike on campus. And yeah, it'll be fun to see him out here getting his debut. Davidson will start things off. They will work right to left, and we are underway from Merlot. Sunday night soccer on the bluff. Quickly outlet it to Thompson. Trying to play it down the line to Dudek. And the ball out of bounds throw in here for the Wildcats. Taken quickly by Caswell. It'll go out of bounds throw in here for Portland. We've had a mix of some sun, some rain today. It poured right before the start of the women's game and then was Pretty quiet until the second half where it rained quite a bit. Right now, just some threatening skies, but some pretty good conditions if you're a player. It's yeah, nice and cool. it's been a classic Portland fall afternoon. Some sun, a lot of rain. Hindell trying to cut inside. And good coverage on the far side of the field there from Brathwaite. Hindell got one of the three goals in the win over GW. He scored in the 14th minute. Yeah, Hindell looked very good on Friday night, as with a lot of the pilots looked much better than their opening weekend buzzing around the field and getting three goals they'll be looking to get on the score sheet again today throw in here for the wildcats coming up that two nothing loss at oregon state both those goals for the beavers coming in the second half yeah it's a trip a lot of these east coast teams will make and come in and play oregon state and the pilots and not an easy one with two top quality opponents here in the pacific northwest Calvo, sharp cut inside. Here's Ray Ortiz. Trying to take it out wide. And can't turn on that one and get it. It's a bright, bright start from the pilots. Just unlucky from Ray Ortiz. Miss hitting his cross. Couldn't wrap his foot around it to get it inside the box. Look at Sawyer Gaffney. 9-7-2 last year at five shutouts. 23 goals allowed. Same 76% of shots he faced. Nine wins last year, tied for the second most in the Atlantic 10. Yeah, another solid A-10 opponent coming in here. The Davidson Wildcats will be good. They'll be organized, and they'll be dangerous on the counterattack. Calvo some room. Now Artiega. But here you can start to see the shape for the Wildcats. You have the one high forward, four across the midfield, and the five back line. Ball in for Hindell. Hindell trying to get there. And a whistle. Yeah, it looks like he gave the penalty kick. What a ball in from Ray Ortiz, curling around the back line, Perfect finding ball. his teammate. Yep. There it is. Another look. You see Hendel splitting the center backs. Yeah, what a ball from Ray Ortiz. It commits the goalkeeper, and Luke Hendel showing his athleticism, getting to it first, and the goalkeeper takes him down. So Hendel, chance to give the pilots the early lead. Now, we had a an, an situation in the first game. There was a lot of contact between one of the forwards and the goalkeeper for the pilots, and there was no call to the surprise of all of us up here in the in the booth. But the call here. So Hendel trying to give Portland the early lead at home, and he does. Great finish from Luke Hendel, classy as you like, and what a start for the pilots. That's exactly what they're looking for at home. First two minutes into the game, and they're on the board 1-0. Great finish from Hendel. A little bit of hesitation as he approaches the ball and buries it. Yeah, easy as you like. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong direction. Great finish from Hendel, hard and low on the ground. 
But all the magic there is from Ray Ortiz. Lovely ball into the box behind the Davidson Wildcat defense. And that's exactly the start that the pilots are looking for at home on Merlot Field. Sunday afternoon kickoff. Really Second goal. To get on to an early start. Second goal of the season for the Hindell. We score now back to back games. And here comes Davidson off the turnover looking to Henser right away. Dudek. Edge of the 18 will play it out wide. Thompson. On a battle with Tiazzo. Thompson, good job to fight off the defender. That's what plays it on the deck. Shot from distance blocked. Another shot. Fended off the line that time by O'Hara. It falls to Deluzio. Good pressure here by Davidson. Still with it. Great reaction from the Wildcats immediately on the top of the Portland box. Calvo with the header, not out of the area just yet. Jujulu finally a little bit of a clearance and Hindell over to collect it. But great pressure by Davidson. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do. They talk about big five moments. So the five minutes immediately following a goal or following a half or a first five minutes into a half are such important moments for these teams. So good reaction from the Wildcats. Gabe up with the throw in. As well, trying to get the cross, it'll be a, another throw in here deep for Davidson. Caswell looking to turn, double teamed. Worked by Ray Ortiz defensively to help out. Ball cleared toward midfield, but controlled again by Howell. Pardon me, by Evans. 1 0. Here's another look at the penalty that set up the goal. Pardon me, the penalty kick itself. Yeah, there you go, Luke Kendall just opening his hips up to send the goalkeeper wrong, the wrong direction and then sweeps across the ball. Good finish into the bottom corner. 1-0, Pilots on top. Luke Kendall's second of the season. Rathway, good job to spin away from pressure. And Davidson looking to attack out wide. Good ball to McCabe. Has some space, plays it down the line. Well read by O'Hara, stepping in front of that pass. Yeah, you can see the number nine, Deluzio. He, that's where a lot of the magic for Davidson is going to come from. The playmaker in the number 10 attacking midfield position. As well, short ball into the middle. Ray Ortiz, the header, Jujulu. It's a very bright start from Ray Ortiz, buzzing around, not only getting the assist for Luke Kendell, but buzzing defensively, winning the ball back for the Pilots. Great ball from T also. Here's Reyes, and an assist. And went over GW, Namaganya Rivera. Now it's working along the back line. Artiega, just in front of that front four. Long ball. Tiazzo trying to find Reyes and the flag up. A little more direct that time. Yeah, good look from Tiazzo. And another good, good try from the pilots. It's important when these teams sit behind the ball to open open the range of passing so you can try and hit them in behind if they're stepping up high or if they're dropping deep then you can find a big switch of play good look from Tiasso. one nothing pilots on top if you're just joining us luke and dell from the spot in portland the early lead here at home ball out of bounds thrown for the pilots And the Villa Drum Squad still beating their drums. 6.15 on a Sunday night. They're not doing homework. They're out here cheering their team on. Love to see that. Throwing here for Davidson. They attack right to left here in the first half. Evans. Long diagonal for McCabe. Calvo stepping in front of that pass. Trying to release Hindell. Good try from Evans, just under hitting it a little bit, but well read from Calvo. Pilots earning a throw in. Davidson last year, 9 7 and 2. They were 5 2 and 1, the 8 10 second place finish. Yeah, just another top quality opponent coming in here to Merlot Field. It's. Uh, not an easy place to come and play, and it's always great to see these top quality opponents, especially from the East Coast, coming in here. A bright start from the Pilots, so important, especially when these T 
teams playing in a three or a five back want to sit behind the ball in early goals, so important. McKay looking for options and a floated good ball ahead for Caswell. Great touch on that pass. Harrow back defensively. Pindell trying to hold play up. Um, walks into a double team. Out of bounds thrown for the Pilots. It's a lovely ball in there from McC McCabe. And just, just first touch getting away from the number 10, Caswell. Portland on top, 1-0. PK goal in the third minute. First touch for Laguda. Now Tiazzo, Liberty to carry it upfield. Trying to play a long ball down the line again to Reyes. Intercepted. Played over the top. It was a good read by Howell. Or else Reyes may have been, been in behind. Yeah, and that play there just paints a pretty good picture for what the Davidson Wildcats are going to be trying to do here at Merlot Field. Five back line, four midfielders flat in front of them with a high forward. And when the pilots give the ball away, they'll be looking to hit him on the counter quick. You can really see the shape of the five along the back yep, line. Yep, there, in your there you go. You can really see it there. Then the right wing back stepping out to press the ball. And now dropping back into their shape, 11 people behind the ball again. Pilots will need to really move the ball quickly with their passing, one and two touches to kind of shift these back five and midfield four around, just like a ball like that from Artiega switching the play so they can get two on one situations right here. Reyes. Magana Rivera, nice tournament. The shot just wide. Great skill from Magana Rivera. That's exactly what the pilots are trying to do. Switch play. A little interior pass from Jacobo Reyes to Magana Rivera and a lovely turn and just drags his shot wide. Great play from the pilots. That's exactly what they need to do against a team like this. Quick switch, switch of play to their quick wingers, one-on-one -on -one attacking. A little interior pass and a skillful turn from Gio Magana Rivera and just missing the shot. Only missing by a foot or two. Yeah, it's a good post. strike, just dragging it. A bump in the middle there that time by Dudek. Pilots on top, one nothing. They work left to right here in our opening half. Yeah, they'll be delighted with the start here. As the home team, they really have the responsibility to come out and go try and score goals and put their stamp on the game. As well, a nice little volley. Well, Davidson looking to attack down the left channel. Dudek has some room to operate in the middle. Good ball out wide to Lovely Caswell. Lovely ball from Dudek. Playing it back across. Knocked down by Thompson. In a battle with Pierre. Leaves it back, here's a shot. Blocked by Tiazzo. Three block shots early on here by the Pilots defensive line. Good play from the Wildcats. You can see there immediately what they're trying to do. Win the ball quick and hit the Pilots on the counter and they did it well there from Dudek playing the ball wide to the number 10 Caswell. A good shot by Hal, had a lot of pace behind it. Yeah, a good block from Tiasso as well, just making himself big. The Italian center back. There's Tiasso. Hal, a piece of that pass. And now Davidson organizing along their back line. Yeah, and it looks to be the number 17 center back, Evans. Really important for the Davidson Wildcats, kind of running that back five, which is really important as the center of that back five, be a leader in organizing his his team's defensive shape when the pilots have the ball. Here you go, and again, 10 men behind the ball, and the pilots will have to look for quick combinations or a quick switch of play so they can get 2v1 situations wide. That seems to be the key, just to be able to switch play quickly. Yep. Create numbers in your favor. Here's exactly. Reyes, pardon me, Ortiz with it. And a good defensive play that time by the back line. Evans just nodding it back. Yep, well read by Evans. Same sort of ball that gave the Pilots their early opportunity and the penalty kick. Gaffney will get it started. All these big bounce. O'Hare heads it straight up in the air. Dudek just fell over top of Artiega. Yeah, always, on. always dangerous when the players lean up underneath them after one of them jumps up in the air. Late rain starting to fall here at Merlot. There we go, the umbrellas yeah. are coming out. 
Pretty threatening clouds coming over from the West Hills to our left. Here is Ray Ortiz. Yeah, this is Calvo. true, true Portland soccer weather here. Players will love this. What a ball from Gio Magani Rivera. Reyes, edge of the 18. Looking for options back for Gio. The shot and the goal. Golazo from the Pilots. What a ball from Gio Magani Rivera. Out to Jacobo Reyes, a little slip ball inside after some skillful play. And what a finish from Gio Magani Rivera. Top corner, bottom of the crossbar. Just top draw from the Pilots. It all started with the outlet by Magani Rivera. Yeah, a little no-look pass in behind the Davidson defense. And Jacobo Reyes showing his skill and finds Gio Magani Rivera for a little layoff. First time, top corner. And what a goal for the Pilots. A lovely team goal. Great passage of play. And Gio Magani Rivera showing his quality again. Here's another look. There you go. Committing his defender. A little layoff. First time. Great technique from Magani Rivera. Just cuts across the ball. So the ball is spinning away from the goalkeeper. No saving that. What a goal for the Pilots. No. Hendel now goals in back to back games. Same thing for Magani Rivera. And yeah. two a straight assist. Back-to-back -back games for Reyes. Yep, very similar goal on Friday. Mag uh, Reyes getting it at his attacker one-on-one -on -one and finding Magani Rivera on the top of the box for a, just a lovely finish. And it's just the start the Pilots were looking for. Two goals inside the first 15 minutes, and they've been all over the Davidson Wildcats here. So 2 nothing, Portland on top early. Here's Pierre. And the Wildcats have shown they can be dangerous on the counterattack. And it's Portland attacking down the flank. Judulu. Some fancy footwork. Good Great call. skill from Juju yep. Ulu. I don't know if that's a, he's going to get that foul there. Referee lets the play on. Rathwaite. Well, takes a weird deflection off of Mendel. Yeah, that's the, the wet conditions. Ball zipping and spinning all over the place. Two nothing, pilots on top. Opening frame, quarter of this game and then Portland in control up early here. But Davidson has shown the ability to be dangerous when they can get into the final third. Yeah, 2-0 two, two score lines often called the most dangerous lead in soccer. So important to get that third goal. Dudek, Caswell, now wide to McCabe. Good ball into the area. And the Wildcats have shown in moments they have, they have some quality going forward, getting balls into the box, little combinations with their wide play. And the Pilots have looked very dangerous on the counter and in transition. Long ball down the middle, Reyes. Ortiz making a run as Ortiz almost got there. Well read from Gaffney. Magani Rivera. Now Calvo, Portland in the attacking half, up 2-0. Artiega looking for options, going to try to float over top to Reyes. Not a bad idea. Red well, though, by Evans. Good look from Artiega and a lovely run from Yukobo Reyes. A little slicing run, starting wide, trying to find an interior lane, but well defended from the Wildcats. Pilots in control early on in this match. Calvo. Too too strong from Ortiz. Yeah, just over hit the cross. Here's another look at the start of the play that set up the goal. You can see a little no-look ball from Gio Magani Rivera in behind the Davidson back line, which allows Jacobo Reyes to get inside the box one-on-one, -on -one, dribbling. Lovely little bit of skill, step over. Little layoff for Gio Magani Rivera and first time strike. Great technique from Magani Rivera. Just bar down. Wonderful finish, great technique, great ball strike, and a lovely team goal for the Pilots. The ball from Magani Rivera was great, but also Reyes' ability to not rush things in the box. He was patient and allowed the defense to collapse on him to yep, create that opening. Yep, just he's been that way all season long, draws so much attention to him. Three, four defenders looking at him, see, trying to see what he's going to do with the ball, which allows more space for his teammates. And Gio Magani Rivera has been the recipient of 
two goals from those plays from Rico Barreas. Lindell finds himself out wide on the left flank. And a ball across the face of goal. Calvo trying to get there. It'll go out for a goal kick. Yeah, that's why it's so important as a wide player to really commit your defender, especially when you're in one-on-one -on -one opportunities around the box. Even if you don't beat him, it's just important for it to commit him so you can draw attention, which opens up space for your teammates, just like Jacobo Reyes did there. Great header from O'Hara. Jujulu trying to switch it. Well done by Davidson to win it back. Now Caswell. Little bit of a miscue from Juju Ulu, but well defended from the Wildcats. Zete. All over the top for Hindel. Gaffney way out of the box. Yeah, Gaffney's done well there coming out early. Playing almost as a sweeper keeper. Little Manuel Neuer. Davidson trying to go over top to Thompson. Maguda. You have to face a real test because he's had... Yeah, that was his first touch, line. I believe. Blocked three shots in front of him so far tonight. Here's Miguel Rivera. Long diagonal again. Reyes got lots of space out on that wing. What a ball from Gio Miguel Rivera. Julu playing it across. Ball deflected by Gaffney, and Hindell couldn't quite get there. Once the net was wide open. Another great passage of play from the pilots. You can just see exactly what they're trying to do. Long switches of play or quick switches of play with their passing across the field to switch the point of attack, which allows their wingers to get at their outside, at, at, get at the Davidson outside backs. Right, just so as we again. see here. Toward the byline in the area. And yeah, we'll go out first corner of the game. Yeah, and the pilots have been all over them in the f past five minutes. Here you go, Juju Ulu, a little slip ball, trying to find his German companion, companion Hendel, but well defended from the goalkeeper, Gaffney. A little kick save. May Ortiz with Reyes just to his right from the far flag. A little bit of wind at the pilots back here. So they work left to right in this first half. Good ball in, comes across. Pierre trying to put it back on goal, and it'll be a corner kick now from the near flag, so Ortiz going to have to march all the way across the field. <laughs> Quality service from Ray Ortiz with pace, whipped in ball, not easy to deal with. 2 nothing Pilots on top of you just joining us. Luke Kendall from the spot in the third minute. And a screamer from Magana Rivera. Off a beautiful layoff from Reyes. Two goals here for the Pilots. Yeah, it's been a great start from the Pilots. Be Ortiz from the near side, an outswinger. More of a line drive ball. Calvo trying to flick it on. Davidson looking to counter now. Red wall by Juju Ulu. Good skill from Caswell. Can't find his forward Thompson, the number 22. Been a little starved of service. The forwards for Davidson, number 22, Thompson, and the five, Dudek. Flag was offside as Sindel tried to make a run off that high ball played by Tiazzo. Rathwood will start it back up. Now Evans. Good ball ahead. Luzio. And Deluzio will be looking to get on the ball as much as possible. Davidson attacking down the right wing. Nice switch across the field, but Ortiz anticipating that pass. Yeah, it's so difficult to deal with this up-tempo style the pilots are playing. They really are just getting on top of the Davidson Wildcats as soon as they get the ball trying to bring the ball forward at pace, switching the point of attack and making the Wildcats shift across in their back five and their midfield four. Ortiz, lay it off for Calbo. Portland attacking left to right here, opening half of two nothing. Oh, here, now going down the middle for Hindell. And battle with Brathwaite. Hindell trying to bring it back, still with it. Hindell, still Hindell. And foul called, and now Juju Ulu is down on the other side of the play. Got a player down for each team. 
Yeah, it looks like he just took a straight elbow, the Davidson defender, and Juju Ulu off the ball, didn't exactly see what happened. Doing Good that. skill from Hendel, trying to lift the ball over the defender, and just catches him on the head there. Oh, that's Juju Ulu. And Juju Ulu off the ball. See a whole lot there. Yeah, but a good passage of play for the pilots. You can see, so now when the Davidson Wildcats are looking for that s quick switch of play, that opens up space for a little reverse through ball in for Hendel. A good run off the center backs. And good try to lift to the ball over the defender, but well defended from the Davidson's center backs. Yeah, hopefully both players are okay. It's always, uh, you don't like to see injuries that happen off the ball. Well, it's never good when... Well, yeah, it looked like nobody, nobody was around him, so... Contact injury. Yeah, exactly. Should be the left ankle. Putting some weight on it looks to be okay. Then we have to come out of the match. And for Davidson, Brathwaite at least sitting up, that's a good sign. Clearly he was fouled. I don't think there was anything intentional about it. Just Hendel trying to get around the corner there. Yeah, just a stray arm from the big forward. Luke Hendel, not an easy, not an easy center forward to defend for these Davidson center backs. Trying to make it a nightmare to defend for them. He's just always running, always working. Interesting, Brathwaite not putting any weight on his left leg. So I wonder if he went down on that contact, obviously did something to his leg there. I thought maybe they were worried more about a concussion from the elbow, but that's not a good sign as he's not putting any weight on that left leg. Yeah, both players, hopefully they're both all right. And this gives the Davidson Wildcats a chance to really settle down. It's, they're only 20 minutes into the game, but the pilots have really been all over them, so this little stoppage of play is not the worst thing in the world for the Wildcats. Kind of stops the momentum for the pilots and gives them a chance to sort out there. Well, we hope both guys are all right, but uh, Tavis Brathwaite, a sophomore from Concord, North Carolina, in a lot of pain and not uh, putting any weight on that left leg right now as he gets escorted over to the trainer's table. You can see him right there, so keep an eye on that. Looks like for the pilots, Ray Tracy is going to check into the game. So we'll see how that affects the formation where he lines up. Yeah, it'll be a like for like switch for the pilots. Greg Tracy will line up exactly where Juju Lu was playing in with next to Magana Rivera as that attacking midfield position. More of a box to box midfielder. And he'll cover a lot of ground for the pilots. Also coming back from an injury. Hopefully Braithwaite is okay. Caswell, here's McCabe. Want to play a ball into the area. Lovely little back heel there from Gio Magana Rivera. Ball over top for Hindell. And again, Gaffney way out of the area to clear it away. Yeah, Gaffney's done well when his back five have had a high line and the pilots are looking for a little through ball. He's been quick off his line and well read. Well, it's interesting, Dudek has dropped onto the back line. So I did not see who came in yeah. for Braithwaite, but we will figure that out here momentarily. Looks to be the number 18, Justin Stone. So a, he'll play up top. Yep, the 18's up top, and Dudek looks to have switched into the left center back position. Here's Ortiz. So Stone into the game. Had a goal against Wake Tech in their opener. 2-1 winning score, the first goal of the season. And again, Jacobo Reyes trying to find Gio Magana Rivera on the top of the box. That's been a really good passage of play for the Pilots. Calvo making an overlapping run. Trying to take out two defenders. Good job to get it back to Reyes. Pardon me, Ortiz. Now Ray Ortiz. 
Shot blocked from Tracy. Ball in for Hindell. Magana Rivera trying to knock it down. Caswell comes over with a good play by Davidson defensively. Lovely little nutmeg there from Caswell. He's been one of Davidson's better performance performers here. The left winger, the number 10, Caswell. Skillful on the ball. Looking for combinations around the pilot's right back, Calvo. He's looked good. Luzio dropping back. Oh, Dudek. Right, it's on top 2 nothing. if you're just joining us. Luke Kendall in the fourth minute from the spot. And Gio Magana Rivera, laser from just outside the area. Yeah, goal of the year so far for the pilots right there, Gio Magana Rivera. Reyes taking on two defenders, still with it. Kendall. Lovely skill from Reyes, draws so much attention to him. The Davidson back five have to shift over to deal with that. Now the Pilots can switch the play over here to Ray Ortiz, or Esteban Calvo, excuse me. Hera, Davidson regroups defensively. You can see how deep the Davidson de defense is. That's their forward there on the center circle. And that will go out for a corner kick. Third of the game for the Pilots. Will be from the far flag again. Yeah, you can just see there the Davidson Wildcats defense really deep and on top of their box, and the Pilots are, have really been all over them pretty much the entire 25 minutes. Davidson Wildcats have looked dangerous when they've been looking to hit the Pilots on the counter. Ray Ortiz will take it from the far flag. Reyes again just to his right. The ball whipped in, it's headed wide. Great ball in again from Ortiz. O'Hara rises up well. Goalkeeper did well to put him off. Lovely whipped ball in from Ray Ortiz and O'Hara rises up above everybody else. Goalkeeper did well, came out strong. And O'Hara, the big center back, looks to be all right. Nice partnership there between O'Hara and Tiazo. Yeah, they've looked very good, those two as a center back pairing. 2 nothing. our score here. Right now, Davidson just trying to get one to get back into it. Yeah, those two center backs will be looking for a shutout, not looking to give anything away for the Wildcats. Ortiz now. Artiega. Another Mandel. skill from Artiega. Mandel cutting inside. Ball takes a deflection. And Magana Rivera almost with his second of the game. Good little bit of skill there from Hendel. Little Cristiano Ronaldo Cruyff inside the box. And a dangerous opportunity. Look at that lovely little skill deflection. And Gio Magana Rivera just can't get a flick over the goalkeeper. It's a little taller. He would have been able to yeah. redirect that a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, must have just got a haircut. Yeah. Gaffney did a good job to not move those. Yeah, didn't position. commit himself early. Did well, stayed strong. Long ball by Gaffney. Thompson, the intended target. There he is with it. Thompson taking on two defenders, trying to slip it through to Caswell, still on the ball. It pokes loose to Tiazzo. Now Reyes into the attacking half. Mandel making a run. Good job by Dudek to get there and cut off the angle. Great movement from Hendel. Checks in, isn't going to get it, so he spins away. Looks for a little through ball from Reyes, but well defended from the center back for the Davidson Wildcats. Tiazzo in the attacking half here. Yeah, it was Dudek who defended it really well. A little utility man for the Davidson Wildcats, play, starting as a center forward, now playing as a left-sided center back. Ortiz, good ball across. Reyes trying to leave it back for Tracy. Good try from Reyes again. Draws so much attention. Looks for a little layoff for Tracy. But again, well defended from the Wildcats. Now Davidson attacking down the right wing. Thompson down the line for Howell. Trying to take it at Tiazzo. 
Ozo wins it back for the Pilots. Brilliant work there from Tiaso, dribbling out of the back and breaking the pressure for the Davidson Wildcats. Well done from the center back. Now Calvo. So important when the Pilots win the ball that they keep it after that first pass so they can find opportunities like this. Long ball from Artiega to Reyes. Reyes still with it, looking for options. He'll play it back. Pierre. Artiega. And I'll switch a play to the near sideline for Calvo. Calvo, first time ball back across for Hindel. Just over top of the German. Two subs in here for Davidson. John Dale checking in along with Hugh Chatton. And Ben Ortiz going to come in for Ray Ortiz. Ben Ortiz got his first career goal the 85th minute against GW. Yeah, took it so well. A little through ball in behind the George Washington back, back line and touch it in around the goalkeeper and a wonderful finish for Ben Ortiz. Freshmen always get to, always good to get your first goal. And he'll be looking for more here. Thompson will take a seat. Two nothing, pilots on top. Yeah, it looks like Luke Hendel shifted over to the left-hand side. Ben Ortiz has gone up top. And Jacobo Reyes has switched over to the right side. Lovely touch from Ortiz. Now Reyes. Down the line for Magana Rivera. Gonna take on two defenders, slips it back to Reyes. Reyes and Magana Rivera have looked so dangerous together. Look to be on the same wavelength, those two. It's played into the middle. Diazel swinging out wide to Pierre. Patient build up here from the Pilots. Moving the ball one and two touches. This is what they're looking for with this deep line for the Davidson Wildcats. Calvo. Dale's first touch, he'll play it out wide. Chatham. A long switch for Caswell. And pour the winner right back. Yeah, pretty loose again from the Davidson Wildcats in possession. Haven't been able to get out of their own half, which is making it very difficult for them to keep on continuing to defend this Portland Pilots attack. Here's Calvo. And they'll switch it to the wide side of the field. Diazzo not a good ball that time. Intercepted by Chatham. Now we go the other way. Tracy went to it right back. Trying to feed Magana Rivera. And that's better play there for the Wildcats. Al. Taken away by Artiega. Now Ben Ortiz, wide side of the field. Classy play from the center midfielder, Artiega. Winning the ball back, completing a pass and getting forward. So the Pilots can keep the ball here in their attacking half. And again, you can see the deep, deep defending for the Davidson Wildcats. Reyes splits a double team. Trying to leave it down the line for Ben Ortiz. And the ball, was it deflected? Great play from the two freshmen. Jacobo Reyes, a little step over, dribbling inside for a little slip through ball for Ben Ortiz, his freshman companion, and just hits the shot on the near post. Stretch gonna come in for Hindel. Yeah, good look from Ben Ortiz, just looking to beat the goalkeeper to the ball and lift it over his foot into the near post, but the goalkeeper again did well. Gaffney, he's been good coming off his line, making himself big. 2-0 Pilots if you're just joining us. Luke Kendall from the spot in the third minute. And it was Gio Magana Rivera 
the laser from the top of the box. About 10 minutes later in Portland with the early 2-0 lead. Davidson looked threatening in the first 10 minutes of the match, but it's really been Portland since all the second goal, really. Yeah, the Pilots have really been all over the Davidson Wildcats. Haven't really been able to get out of their own half. So they'll be looking to get into the halftime whistle here, just keeping it at 2-0, not looking to give anything else away so they can get into the locker room and reorganize their shape, maybe switch up the strategy a little bit to see if they can stifle this Portland attack. Throw in here for the Pilots. Little shout out for Benji Michelle scoring another MLS goal last night for Orlando City. Pilot alumni in the professional ranks scoring MLS goals. Love to see that. He still feels like he's playing for the Pilots wearing the purple. Yep. Still wearing the number 19 as well. And still scoring goals. O'Hara. Sorry for that interruption. Looks <laughs> like there was a warning going on somewhere, but play goes on. Here's Artiega. Good ball head for Ben Ortiz. Lovely ball from Artiega. Ortiz plays it back to Pierre. ball by Artiega to go out for a throw in for Davidson. Yeah, didn't need to lift the ball off the ground from Artiega just over hitting the pass. Substitution here for Davidson. Yeah, Caswell was good for the Davidson Wildcats. Left winger looked dangerous going forward and defended, worked really hard. And then Morissette will check in for him. Yeah, it looks to be a straight swap. Second appearance for Morissette at three goals last year. And from Charlotte. Piazzo pulling it back. Relatively quiet first half here for Laguda. Yeah, he's only had a few touches on the ball and it's all been when the pilots have been in possession. Two nothing our score. Final 10 minutes of the opening half from Merlot. Reyes. Trying to take on two defenders. Great skill again from the freshman. Lovely feet and just a little bit too much there. A little kick for his trouble. Number 20, Morissette. Looking to win the ball back from Reyes. Defenders don't, don't usually like it when the wingers are dancing on the ball, but Jacobo Reyes won't mind that too much. Showing his flair, showing his skill. And another dangerous opportunity for the Pilots. Davidson has defended their free kicks pretty well. Except for the one chance from O'Hara when he rises above on the corner kick. But they've looked good defending set pieces. Such an important part of the game to defend these set pieces and set plays. Magana Rivera over it. Whips it in. The header right at Gaffney. Great ball from Magana Rivera, looking to find RJ Stretch, but just hits his header right at the goalkeeper. Anywhere else on the frame of the goal, it's probably in. Great try from Stretch, just hits his header right, right at the goalkeeper. If he heads it down or one side of him, probably goes in, but a good save from Gaffney. Magana Rivera now looking to turn, trying to slip it through that time to Stretch. Great play on the slide from Wilson. Yeah, again, Magani Rivera has been, for me, the best player on the field. Looked so dangerous on the ball, scoring a wonder goal and constantly a threat on the ball, looking to thread these little through balls in for his forwards and wingers. Alejandro Pereira on for the first time. In for Reyes. Yeah, another player who'll be looking to get on the score sheet, the big number nine, Pereira. 2-0, Pilots in control here at home. Yeah, important for the Pilots that they 
don't get stagnant, don't get comfortable with this 2-0 lead. They'll be looking to go get the third goal and really put the game to bed. And the Davidson Wildcats will be looking to steal one back if they can get one before halftime. If not, look to get in the locker room. Here they come down the right wing off the turnover. Chatham trying to play it through. Not quite on the same page that time with Stone up top. Better from the Wildcats. Chatham just missing his forward. Alasaurus going to check in. Several late changes here from Nick Carlin Voigt. Yeah, on a Sunday, less than 48, 48 hours rest. He'll be, he'll be switching some things around. Cal Suarez coming in for Gio Magana Rivera. Like for like switch again, he'll just slot in right next to Greg Tracy on top of Jake Artiega. Here's Ben Ortiz. I'll go out for a pilot's throw in final five minutes. Good challenge there from Dudek flying out the left center back. And good skill again from Ben Ortiz. He's looked lively since coming on. O'Hara plays in the middle to Tiazzo. Calvo, quick touch down the line. So we're looking for options. Gonna take it to the corner flag, and it'll be another throw in deep here for the pilots. Artiega, Calvo. Lovely combination there from the three pilots, Artiega, Calvo, and Pereira. And they've looked very good on the ball, the pilots have in the Davidson half, trying to play around this deep Davidson defense. Lots of combinations, lots of one and two touches, such as this, looking to switch the ball quickly from side to side. Center backs playing one and two touches, bouncing the ball. Lovely ball from Artiega so they can get 2v1 situation. Ortiz drifting to the middle, feeding it through to Pereira. The shot and the goal. Great skill from Ben Ortiz. Dribbles through two Davidson defenders and a little slip through ball to Alejandro Pereira and a wonderful finish from the big number nine. Davidson defense looked to be, we're looking for an offsides flag, but they didn't get one. Great finish for the Pilots. And Alejandro, or Alejandro Pereira will be so happy with that, getting on the score sheet for the first time in the 2019 season. Great switch of play. Ben Ortiz getting that as a de defender one-on-one, -on -one, splits the defense. Lovely little slip through ball. Maybe a bit lucky with the deflection, but a wonderful finish from Pereira. Took it so well. Gets the ball out of his feet and just slots it into the bottom corner. Pereira's first of the season. And the Pilots will love that. Getting into the halftime whistle with a 3-0 lead instead of a 2-0 lead. Ortega will come out. So many Go difference back. makers here for the Pilots. Ben Ortiz making a big difference. Pereira. Back-to-back -back games now. Portland's put a three spot on the board and still a, a whole half to go, plus about three and a half minutes here in the first half. Yeah, that would be a ruin their chances from opening weekend, not scoring a goal over the two games and now scoring six goals here with, in three halves this weekend. They'll be very happy. Always want to get on the score sheet as much as possible at home. They have the responsibility to come out and put their stamp on the game and show their style and quality. And they've done that here in the first half. Stone, the intended target. He has a steps in front of that pass. Beck looking to turn under some pressure. There's Tiazzo. Great play from Noah Beck, the freshman. Just calming things down again after the Wildcats are looking to press after after the goal. Stretch. Now Pereira, some room on the left wing. I was looking for more. 
Good try, a little give and go try from Stretchin, Pereira, and a great counter press from the two pilot attackers, Suarez and Pereira. So right. they've been doing all game really, just counter pressing, winning the ball back as quickly as possible and making it so difficult for the Davidson Wildcats. Well done from Noah Beck, showing his strength. It's Tiazzo, Portland on top, 3-0 here at the close of the first half, still a few minutes left to go. And Pereira, the intended target, Gaffney in position. Yeah, you can see every time the ball goes out of play, every time there's a stoppage of play, pilots are looking to get the ball in as quickly as possible so they can keep the tempo up, keep the intensity up, and stay on top of this Davidson Wildcats team. Orleans certainly really riding the confidence of the win over GW into tonight. Yeah, Playing definitely. Well yeah, home. soccer's such a game of momentum when the ball's going in, attack is flowing. So lovely skill there from Ortiz. Yeah, when your attackers are flowing and the movement is on point, that's when the ball starts to go in the back of the net with ease. And you start to get more and more chances and then the goal just looks huge on here at Merlot Field. Lovely step over from Ben Ortiz. Great feet there from the freshman. So many little skillful players here for the pilots. Ben Ortiz, Kawa Suarez on the field now. Ray Ortiz, Jacobo Reyes. And the goal scorer, Magana Rivera. Goals by Magana Rivera, Hindel, and Pereira here in the first half. All pilots in the opening half. Final minute. Yeah, the Davidson Wildcats will be disappointed not getting into the halftime locker room at 2-0. Difficult to come back from 3-0. But crazier stories have happened. You look at in the professional ranks, Liverpool, Miracle at Anfield, and in the Champions League final, coming back from a 3-0 deficit at halftime. So the pilots will need to stay concentrated and continue to do what has given them success throughout the first half. So it makes soccer so amazing. The game's never over till the 90th minute. That's uh, about a long ball into Davidson's half to close out this first half. Yeah, what a half for the Pilots. Excellent first half for the Pilots. Goals from Hindel, Magana Rivera, and Pereira. And all Portland here in the opening half from Merlot. The Pilots lead it 3-0 over Davidson. Take a timeout, come back with stats, and the call of the second half. Portland on top. 3-0 here at the halftime break. You're watching Pilot Soccer right here on the WCC Network.
we get set for the second half here from Merlot. All pilots in that opening up 3 nothing scoreline. Portland, three goals on eight shots. Four of them were on frame. Davidson, three shots, all three blocked. A busy first half for the pilots. Luke and Nell in the third minute. Gio Magana Rivera in the 13th minute, and Alejandro Ferreira in the 41st minute. Dominant first half, Matt. Yeah, it's been it's all it's been all the Portland Pilots here in the first half. Been looking very good going forward with their wingers. Jacobo Reyes was very dangerous. Gio Magana Rivera very dangerous and very uh, uphill battle for the Davidson Wildcats. They'll be looking to just come in here and get one goal. That's how it all starts and then the pilots will be looking to come out fast and try and get the fourth goal and really put the game to bed. Second so half underway from Merlot. With Portland on top. And Calvo now. Gonna play a ball down the line. Ortiz, it'll go out for a Davidson throw in. What kind of adjustments can Davidson make here? Yeah, when you, when you go down early, uh, it's, it's difficult. Those halftime talks are not easy ones, but uh, you know, let's see this play here. Thompson out wide to Howell. Good ball to the back post. And I'll just go out for a goal kick. Yeah, so those halftime those halftime talks are not easy ones. It's uh it's a bit difficult to go into the locker room three nil down, but maybe it can be a change of system or maybe it can just be an adjustment of the the attitude from the team but it all just starts with trying to get that one goal and then after that you're in the game just two two goal game but if you can go come in and just try and get one goal that's how it all starts you can't look at it as like a three zero score line it has to just be we're gonna go come in here in the second half get one goal and then see what happens and for the pilots it's it's gonna be a story of can we come out quickly and take advantage of our opportunities and get the fourth and really put the game to bed Diego Playing it down the line for Reyes. I was going to go out for a throw in. It's Henry Howell over to take it. Started all three matches so far this year for the Wildcats. Yeah, Howell, Howell's been a solid performer for the Wildcats. The f number 14 right wing back. Caswell. At, yeah, as is Caswell. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if the Wildcats have change the system at all or if they're going to come out in the same five back four midfielder and one forward system we saw in the first half and they win possession on the far side of the field castle trying to keep it in play he does well done and a battle with calvo on that far side big time defending there from calvo showing his strength against the number 10 Caswell, left wing back for the Wildcats. Luzio trying to win it in the corner. Yeah, the two wing backs have been good for the Wildcats. Caswell and the right wing back, Thompson, I believe, and as well as the Deluzio number nine center midfielder. Just hasn't been able to get on the ball as much as he would like. We're only trying to force a turnover. The guy never almost got there. And that pass had too much on it thrown here for Portland off the turnover. Yeah, loose in possession there for the Wildcats. trying to play it in the middle. Composed there from the center back O'Hara and allows the pilots to get in these one-on-one -on -one situations again. Reyes trying to feed into the middle, cleared away by Davidson. How got that one out, so it'll be a throw in for the pilots right in front of the Davidson bench. Pierre up to take it. Lovely play there from O'Hara. Just calm touch around the forward, flying out of shape and able to complete a pass to Greg Tracy. Ortiz. Calvo, uh, let's switch play into the middle. Tiazzo along the diagonal. Reyes knocks it down with the outside of his right foot. Lovely ball from Tiazzo. And a good little try there from Reyes. A little scoop trying to get in between the two defenders, but well defended from the two Davidson 
outside backs. Nice lead for Hal. Uh, drifting into the middle. There with the sliding tackle. Hal still able to hold possession. Good play from Hal. Break in pressure. And unlucky just giving the ball away. Loose possession for the Wildcats. But good play from Hal. Being able to dribble out of pressure. One change we do notice is Jackson Bracey starting up top here in the second half. Long ball down the line. Pilots attacking. Good battle in the far corner. 1v2. Hard work there from Pereira, trying to earn the team a corner, but well defended from the Wildcats. Dudek has done everything for the Wildcats. Started as a center forward, now playing as a center back, and well defended there. Not an easy forward to defend Pereira. 3 nothing. Pilots on top. Early stages of the second half. Here's Reyes. Here, ball in the middle to Artiega. You can really see the Pilots have success when they're able to switch the ball quickly and shift this Davidson defense around the back five. Ortiz, going up against McCabe. Great little bit of skill there from Ray Ortiz, trying to get around the wing back. But it's good help there from Dudek. And another corner for the Pilots. Here's a look at the lovely feet of Ray Ortiz. Little great bit of skill there, just slips as he's getting around, but good cover from Dudek, well defended. And you can really see the quality there from Ray Ortiz. Lovely bit of skill. Ortiz over this corner. Ball. Flick forward that time by Pereira. Johnny Rivera out to collect it for the Pilots. Piazzo played all the way back. Good Look. pressure from the Wildcats. And Davidson win it. A little chance for Davidson attacking down the left flank. That's Before better the from the Wildcats. That's more what they're trying to do after a corner kick, immediately get into the opponent's half. And the pilots are able to recover, but that's better from the Wildcats. Three nothing Portland on top. Herrera, Magana Rivera, and Hindell in the first half for the Pilots. Hindell and Magana Rivera now scored in back-to-back -back games. Portland with a three nothing win over GW here on Friday. Yep, two A10 opponents coming in here to Merlot Field. The Pilots have looked very good against both of them. Magana Rivera trying to feed it through to Pereira. Well defended from the center back, showing his strength. Alejandro Pereira, just a little bit of a late challenge. Zamali, the, the big center back for the Wildcats, well done. Yeah, Pereira, just another, another forward, just a nightmare to defend. Big six footer, a lot of pace, really strong on the ball, and will chase the center backs all game long. Great header from O'Hara. He's been very good tonight, as has Tiaso. Race in a battle. Davidson wins it. And they work down the flank. Good challenge there from Howell. Thompson. Yeah, always good as a center back when uh, you don't have to say their name a lot. Just really solid in the back. Tiaso and O'Hara haven't done much wrong at all. Blocked a lot of shots, been good on the ball and in possession. I'll up to take the throw in. Looking for Deluzio. And another lovely ball from Tiaso. Long ball played ahead for Pereira. Again, good work by that back line. Great strength there from Somali. Good bump. And throw in to Davidson. That's better defending there from the number two center back, Zamali. Tracy. Oh my God, Rivera, a little bit of room in the middle. 
Ortiz plays it out wide on the wing. Yeah, Miguel Nier Rivera has been my man of the match so far. He's been so good in the center of the park. Dangerous going forward. Worked hard defensively to win the ball back as quick as quickly as possible right when the pilots lose it. Herrera plays it across for Tiazo. Oh, wide to Reyes. Great look from Tiazo. And Reyes. Reyes showing his skill again. Getting around Hal initially. Reyes still with it on his left foot. Trying to cut it inside. Plays it across. Ricaldo is cutting back. Magani Rivera. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That just shows you how good Gio Magani Rivera is feeling right now. A little volley from about 35 yards out, showing the confidence. Good strike, but well wide. Jacobo Reyes, here's it. There you go. Gio Magani Rivera feeling it. He knew maybe he was coming out of the match, so he was going to let it fly. Yeah, there you go. Last kick of the game. And what a performance from Magani Rivera. Stretch back in for Magani Rivera. Yeah, stretch is slotted in there next to Greg Tracy, center of the park. Another player who can play all over the field, RJ Stretch. Can play outside back, can play in the center of the park, and definitely has a goal in his game. Foul that time on Hal, so a free kick here for Portland. Take it quickly. We're going to have to restart it. And the referee here says, play on, get it going. Davidson has been better in the second half. There you go, winning the ball back. They've worked much, much better off the ball and worked hard defensively and been able to get into these areas in the pilot's half a little bit more than in the first half. Fell on Bracey after he did a nice job to take the ball off of O'Hara. 57 minute, all Portland so far in this match tonight. Three first half goals. Davidson has come out with some good energy here in the second half. Trying yeah, they have. Back into this one. Yep, yep. Coach must have given him a talking to. 3-0 down after the first half. A good reaction from the Wildcats. O'Hara. Space to operate. And the Pilots will be looking to just weather this storm. And get on the score sheet here when there's an opportunity to get forward. Ortega. Out wide for Ortiz. Remember Tracy, not a good ball. Yeah, a little bit loose in possession there from Ortiz. Couldn't find Tracy. A little interior pass. Well defended again from the Wildcats. Reyes. Good work that time by Dale to step in front of Reyes. Yeah, well defended from Dale. It's Wilson. How? Trying to turn away from pressure. Stretch just takes it off his foot. Great challenge from RJ Stretch. Just getting his foot around the ball and winning it off the number 14, Howell. A little bit of afters there, RJ Stretch. Won't mind that too much. The number 21 defending hard, working really hard, Bracey. Good tackle by Bracey. <laughs> Two hands. There you go. Wrapped up well. Yeah. <laughs> Good fundamental. Yeah. Ball down the line. Ortiz. Poked off his foot. Uh, Good time for Davidson just to clear it back toward midfield. Yeah, and the pilots won't mind this too much. Just weather in this storm from Davidson. They'll be expecting them to come out flying here in the second half. At some point, Davis has got to push more guys forward. Yeah. Can't stay. It's 5-4-1. Yeah, not sure exactly what the referee's calling. We'll play on, though. There's Artiega. Uh, Tracy. Pereira. A touch out wide. Ball there from Pereira. First time finding the wide midfielder, Ortiz. Diazzo. Next back for that one. We'll go back to Laguda. Making his first start tonight for the Pilots, a transfer from Loyola Chicago. Yeah, hasn't had too much to do Laguda, but when he's when he's had the ball in possession, he's looked good. I'm sure he'll be loving this, soaking it all in, the shutout 
in his first start at Merlot Field. Portland in control here in the 60th minute. Calvo gets knocked off the ball. A challenge from Delusio. Diego wins it back. Tracy trying to feed it through to Reyes. Read well by Wilson, though. And there's been a lot of that all night long. Davidson wins the ball, but unable to get out of their own half. And the Pilots win it back early and try and jump on top of them as soon as they win the ball back. Luzio. Switch across the field by Wilson. Ortiz applying pressure. We'll go back for Gaffney. Thompson. Good pressure from the pilots. Pierre wins it right back. Now Ray is going to have some room. And again, the pilots just calm on the ball. Looking to win the ball back and keep it in the Davidson half. Lovely ball from Tiaso. Stretch. Reyes in. Reyes shoots and scores. What a finish from Jacobo Reyes, the freshman, classy as you like. So composed in the box. Gets the touch out of his feet and finishes into the bottom corner. A little curling finish into the side netting. Wonderful ball from RJ Stretch. The first of what I'm sure will be many goals for number 19. And a great finish. Lovely bit of skill from RJ Stretch. Defender can't reach the ball. And Jacobo Reyes so composed in the box. Calm as you like. Slips the ball into the bottom corner been the story for the pilots winning the ball back in the Davidson half and immediately transitioning to attack RJ stretch lovely bit of skill to get the ball out of his feet and finding a little slip through ball to Jacobo Reyes and a wonderful finish from the freshman number 19 so Reyes and Ortiz out Ben Ortiz and Kyla Suarez back into the match. There you go. You see Nick Nick Carlin Voigt talking to his two wingers, saying that's what we're looking for. That's the type of performance that we need to put in every game so we can have the ty these types of results. Well done from the two wingers, Jacobo Reyes and Ray Ortiz. Portland, four spot. You're at home. Yeah, the freshmen especially will, will be enjoying this so much at home, always want to put goals on the board. And now the forwards, the attacking players will be smelling blood. They'll be looking to go get on the score sheet. And for Davidson, it's just a matter of damage control. How well can you defend against this pilot attack that's been good all night long? A little bit of loose possession there from Greg Tracy. Well, Portland scored four goals last year against LMU in a 4 nothing win right here on October 12th. This is their conference home opener. Yeah, so important to take advantage of these, uh, these games at home. Sunday, difficult to come in here on short rest and put up four goals, but the Pilots have been so good all night long. Some subs along the back line now. Pierre going to come out. Uh, Kelly Cornfield Saunders and Jabari Newton into the game and Calvo. Also out of the match. Yeah, great performance from Calvo. Great performance from the left back as well. Ball slipped through to RJ Stretch, who shoots and goes just wide. Good save from Gaffney. Yeah. Saw it well, got down early, and a good strike from RJ Stretch, looking to catch the goalkeeper on the near post. And go lovely little through ball there. RJ Stretch takes it early. Great save from the goalkeeper. Got down really well and protected the near post. As far as over the ball. Yeah, Cresswell just came off as well for the Wildcats. He, he was a very good performer for them. The left wing back. Newton knocking it down. Well dealt with from Newton. An awkward one. Ortiz trying to get there. 
Man, that's a foul just outside the box. And you can see the pace there from Ben Ortiz accelerating away from the outside back, showing his skill, turning the corner, and just bringing him down. Professional foul there. Yellow card shown. Yeah, always a yellow card. There you go, showing his pace. Great touch around the corner. It's going to be on Bracey. And yeah, Bracey just bringing him down. Professional foul. It's like Malcolm McCabe got the yellow card, number 23. Chance for Portland. On the deck, Pereira, the shot. It's loose and the goal. The second opportunity. And it's O'Hara, the center back. It's just straight off the training ground, a little set piece play. And O'Hara just, look what I found, a little finish into the bottom corner. The center back will enjoy every moment of this. His first goal for the Portland Pilots. This is sort of like when an offensive lineman gets the chance to run it in for a touchdown. Yeah, exactly. The center back will be loving this. He'll be enjoying every second of that and a big dog pile. There you go, a little set piece. Scuff the shot. O'Hare with a little back heel try and it just bounces right, right back, back to him. Up. And a good finish from the center back. Look at that little back heel try. Good block from the 13. And oh, look what I found. A little goal there for the center back O'Hara. He says good initial block by Wilson. It was a good block from Wilson. O'Hara trying to slip the little back heel into the bottom corner. But he gets it back in. Five goals for the Portland Pilots. And the Davidson Wildcats just taking a moment to huddle up. Not sure exactly what the goalkeeper's telling them, but not easy to continue to defend, to continue to play for the pride on your jersey. O'Hara will come out Beck in along that back line. First time we've seen him in that spot this season. Yeah, no, Beck, the freshman, he can play also another player that can play in a couple of different positions, usually in the center of the park, but he'll have no trouble sliding into center back especially with Francesco Tiasso next to him, the captain. Pereira, credit for the assist, goal and assist. Yeah, I'm not sure he meant it, Pereira, as a pass, but you know, he'll get credit for it. A good little play there for the Pilots, well executed. Even though it didn't come off exactly how they would have liked, they won't mind that at all. A goal is a goal. Talk about this homestand for the Pilots. This is their fourth straight game at home. And we had the women play earlier. This is their first home game of the year. Yep. Yeah, busy weekend here on the bluff. Interesting that the women are the only seven home games all season long. Yeah, not a lot of home games here for the Portland Pilot women's soccer team. But great performance from them today. The 2-1 one, two, two, one victory. Over Denver. Yep. Men will be on the road next week at Seattle and at Wisconsin. Big 10 opponent there. Yeah, Pilots will play Seattle U. A little new tournament there called the Coffee Cup. Named after you? Uh, I wish. You're hosting it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be hosting it there, the Pilots versus uh, Seattle Red Hawks. Uh, the Cafe Diarte Coffee Cup will happen next week. Winner taking home a trophy and... Uh, By the yeah. way, you should just tell people it's your turn. Yeah, I should. I just different, go with that. different spelling, though. I wonder if I could get away yeah. with it. I'm sure they won't mind. No. Beck or Artiega. Dominant performance here by the Pilots tonight. 5-0. Yeah, I'll be interested to see the reaction here from the Davidson Wildcats. 5-0, not easy to continue to run and defend and do these little things, especially having played on Friday night against Oregon State. It's been a tough trip to the Northwest for the Davidson Wildcats. Ball down the line for Ortiz. Worked defensively there by Davidson. For Davidson, you just want to try and get one. Maybe a little momentum. Yeah, later it's, in the game. it's more of a matter of pride now here for the Wildcats. Looking to put one on the board and not give up any more goals. But this pilot's attack has looked so dangerous going forward, especially when they win the ball high up the field, such as this. And they can get immediately to the Davidson back three. Cornfield Saunders, play it back to Tiazzo. And now out on the wing for Beck. Oh, two years ago, Portland won 5-0 here at home. 
against Cal State Fullerton. Oh yeah, I played in that game actually. I don't know, I don't think I scored a goal. Maybe maybe had a hat trick. You had an not. important goal here prior. <laughs> See the West Coast Conference title. Yeah, but these pilots will be uh, enjoying every minute of this. 5-0 at home. The shot from distance. Laguda. And Laguda with the first time. game of the first save of the game. Good strike from the left left back. I believe that was Kim Abernathy. Abernathy, yeah. Good, definitely got a lot behind that. Yeah, good that. strike. You can see the quality there, the left footer. But soft hands from Laguda. Not really troubled. It's going to take a lot to beat a goalkeeper from that distance. Strike like the one we saw from earlier in this game, Agani Rivera in the top corner. Long ball out on the wing. Portland looking for more. Great touch from Newton. And a lovely ball from Artiega. Ball back for Newton. First time ball across. It'll go out for a corner kick. 68th minute. And Nick Carlin Voigt will be delighted with this performance as well. It gives him a chance to get some, some guys in that haven't got a lot of opportunities this season. And they'll get to show their quality and the difference they can make on the game. So still a lot to play for here at Merlot Field. Ball whipped in. And Davidson able to handle it. Dangerous ball as Davidson's playing back inside their own 18 and a little go out though for a goal kick and yeah look at these two attackers still running still att still putting the Davidson Wildcats under pressure even though it's a 5-0 scoreline they want to keep going keep keep attacking keep getting on the score sheet it's well done from the two sophomores Jake Comagin Pereira Jake Comagin coming onto the field Morissette uh, checking back in. Looks like a bit of a change in positions there. RJ Stretch is slotted out to the left-hand side. Kamajan has come on top of Greg Tracy, who will play as the lone cent or lone holding midfielder with Suarez and Kamajan in front of him. Good header nodded forward that time. That plays it back into Laguda. Great header there from Houth. Seventieth minute, Portland on top, five nothing. There's Noah Beck. Yeah, it's been a lot of the same story throughout the game. Pilots have been all over the Wildcats. Great touch there from Craig Tracy. Kelly fizzing it into him, testing his touch, and classy as you like. Lovely from the Sophomore holding midfielder. Portland just working some possession here. A long ball down the middle looking for stretch. Hal trying to release it down the line. Well defended from Hal. Diazzo. Back pushing it out wide. Ortiz. And just so pacey, Ben Ortiz. Well defended from the Wildcats midfield. Just a bit of rain starting to fall here at Merlot Field. Yeah. Actually been pretty lucky. Hasn't been a classic Portland it's torrential been, downpour. It's been threatening all afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Now Davidson attacking down the right flank. Hal looking to turn the corner. Good work again by the pilots. Yeah, Hal's been good for the Wildcats. Dale trying to serve one into the far side of the 18. Yeah, it's been a tough night for Davidson, but Hal's been good. He's been good defensively, one-on-one -on -one defending the right wing back.
having to deal with these pacey and skillful wingers for the pilots. There's Pereira looking to turn. Good recovery defensively that time. Zamali. Yeah, Zamali's also been good since coming on in the second half. He's looked pretty solid, strong, pacey. Vincent Manning entering the match. Or Tiasso. Manning, redshirt sophomore from Calabasas. Yeah, Jason Manning, really pacey, really strong player. Looking like he's going to slide across to the right. Plays a right winger. And looks to be a little bit of a change in shape for the pilots. What are you seeing as far as the shape? Looks like they may have switched to a three back system. So Jabari Newton, Noah Beck, and Kelly Cornfield Saunders playing as the three center backs with Jason Manning and RJ Stretch as the wing backs. And then Greg Tracy is the holding midfielder, Comagin and Suarez on top of him, and two forwards up top now with Pereira and Ben Ortiz. 5 nothing, all pilots. It was 3 nothing at the half. Yeah, there you go. It looks definitely a three-back system now. And, yeah, it's opportunities like this where the head coach, Nick Carlin Voigt, can uh, just test a few different systems and see how they look in a three-back system just to have in the back pocket when they're moving forward, playing against different opponents. It's important to be able to have a variety of styles. You can play a variety of formations and systems for the pilots. Great turn from Suarez. Trying to release Pereira. Gaffney out of the area. There again, declared out of danger for Davidson. Quality turn there from Suarez, just trying to find his partner, Pereira. A little through ball, but just over hit, and Gaffney again coming off his line quick. Yeah, tough, tough day for the goalkeeper as well. He's been pretty good coming off his line for through, to eat up some through balls, but not a lot of, he can do on some of these goals. And you can just see the faith that Nick Carlin Voigt has is in his freshman and all of his players. Noah Beck, the freshman, a couple opportunities on the field, but there he is, center of the park. And operate up toward midfield. Will oh, slip through. Good possession here by the pilots. Lovely combination there from the pilots and a good try, but well defended from Davidson. Portland went to right back. A chance to attack. Ortiz. Almost as he tried to chip it over the goalkeeper. Great try from Ben Ortiz looking to chip the goalkeeper into the top corner. And again, it's not so much the first ball. First combination is good from the pilots, but they win the ball back high up the field. One pass looking to try and oh, just missing it over the top. But a good try from the freshman. Look at the quality there. Ooh, so just close. Missing, yeah, close. Good try there from Ben Ortiz. Just shows the confidence they're feeling right now. The pilots. Flag up on the far side. Final 15 minutes from Merlot. All Portland here tonight. Would have been a 2 1 win over Denver. Yeah, it's been a good day for the pilots at Merlot Field. Not an easy place to come and get a result. The ball down the line. Now looking to whip it in first time, Laguda right there. Great ball from Howell. He's Ben Davidson's best player for me, the right wing back. Suarez down the line. Kawa Suarez coming on immediately, making a difference, just showing the depth that the pilots have. Sliding tackle on the far side of the field as Pereira tried to turn the corner. Yeah, looks to be holding his right ankle, Pereira. Pereira will be delighted with getting on the score sheet tonight. Here we go, good pace, well defended from the Davidsons. Left back. And looks to be just a knock on the ankle. There you go, look at that lovely look at just the best pitch in college soccer. 
lovely field here. It plays so nice, especially when the grass is a little wet on a night like tonight. Ball zipping around. Really soft, really thick grass here in the Pacific Northwest. See that rain picking up a little bit here as we move later into the evening. Yeah, and approach these, 8 o'clock. These fans are used to it. We got all the rain jackets out, the hoods are up, umbrellas starting to come out as well. Pereira will to get up and he'll be able to walk off the field. Always a good sign. Yeah, Pereira, great performance. Didn't start the game, but came on, scored a goal in the first half and made a big difference for the Pilots. He'll score a lot of goals this year, Pereira. A big number nine, hold up forward. Very pacey, very strong, holding the ball up and constant threat in and around the box. Real poacher, true center forward, goal scorer. And you can see, you could see that there in the first half with his quality touch, quality finish. And the pilots will go down to 10 men here for a second. Great header from RJ Stretch. Dale wins that momentarily. Five nothing, all Portland here, 77th minute. Again, Portland looking for more. It's played on the wing. As far as trying to get there, just cleared out by Davidson. Pereira back out on the field. Good to see Pereira come back on the field. Just a little knock on the right ankle. He'll run it off. Shot just inside the area, blocked by Davidson. Great save from Gaffney, saving the, saving the corner, showing his athleticism and finding his right back Howell. Lovely touch there from the number 20, Morissette. Davidson, a long switch. Morissette, the intended target, a little too heavy though. Not a bad idea to try and switch it that quickly, but it'll go out for a goal kick. Yeah, good try there from Abernathy, the left footer. Shown his ball striking a little bit here in the second half. A good try there to try and find his right wing back Morissette. And the pilots will just continue to knock the ball around, try and kill the game off, maybe score a goal. Get the rest of the schedule for Portland. So their next home match will be against CSUN on September 20th. And of course, the big matchup against UW up in Seattle on September 29th. Closeout non-conference play on October 4th against UC Riverside. And then conference play starts October 12th, right here against Pacific. Yeah, not an easy schedule for the Pilots. Lots of quality opponents, home and away. Stretch. Good ball across. And just starting to see the tired legs for the Pilots. Game starting to open up a little bit. Good try there from Morissette, but well defended from Jason Manning. And Ben Ortiz again showing his pace. So quick, Ben Ortiz, his first couple steps and gives the ball away, but great reaction, try and win the ball back and good skill from the number seven. Chatham. Approach the 79th minute. Wilson play it out wide a little combination play Morissette good play from Morissette and Abernathy and this is better from the Wildcats a little spot of possession in the pilot's half Wilson Is that lacking that final pass yeah, we've seen a few opportunities for the Wildcats in the first half on, in transition especially, but just haven't really been able to find that combination to unlock the pilot defense that has looked very solid. 
So three nothing lead at halftime for Portland. Added two here in the second half. Yeah, it's been a lot of the same story. The pilots winning the ball high up the field or combining around the Davidson defense and just a lot a lot of quality up top for the pilots. Magani Rivera, Hendel, Jacobo Reyes, Ray Ortiz, so tough to deal with. And when they get flowing, it's difficult to defend for any team. Ben Ortiz picking up a yellow card at some point. 81st minute, Portland in control, trying to just see this one out here at home. Tracy. It's going to go out for a Davidson throw in. Yeah, Abernathy's looks for pretty sharp in the second half since coming on the field. The left wing back. Here's Beck. Or they're just content to work it along the back line right now. Use a little more clock here, a long switch. Yeah, they'll soak this in on loose there from Noah Beck. Dale. RJ Stretch. Just a little bit of a late challenge there. Number 13 for Davidson Wilson. RJ Stretch showing his quality, showing his athleticism, a little poke through the legs, and just a bit of a late challenge, nothing intentional. And the pilots will put the ball back in play. They'll work it out to the far side of the field. Newton. Down the line once more. Ortiz trying to play it across. Good Remember play the there from the two wide Ortiz. players. Yep. Jabari Newton getting forward. A little combination with his attacking midfielder, Suarez. And just trying to find that early ball curling in behind the Davidson defense, but well defended. There's a heavy touch by Gaffney. Suarez closing out, so he just had to clear that out of bounds. Yeah, look at the Pilots still running, still defending, pressing the ball on the goalkeeper. It's what's given them success throughout the game, and they're still continuing to do it here in the 83rd minute. After playing on a Friday night, they're showing their quality, showing their commitment to their style of play, high press system. And Noah Beck again, just, just a little bit of a lapse in concentration. Pilots attacking. Shot from distance blocked. Here's an opportunity and another goal for Portland. Kawa Suarez, what a finish. Showing his ball striking ability, beating the goalkeeper, goalkeeper at the near post and a wonderful little slip ball there from Ben Ortiz, hooking his teammate up and a wonderful finish from Suarez. And the rain is just starting to pour. Here you go. Ben Ortiz working hard to win the ball back on the top of the box. A little outside of the foot, a little slip ball to Kawa Suarez. And just beating his goalkeeper for pace at the near post. Great finish from Suarez. Taking his chance, showing his ball striking ability, and a great finish. Perfect placement. Yeah. So difficult to save. Took it early. Suarez did not have a goal last year. He had two back in 2017. Yeah, he does have a lot of goals in his game when he does get in and around the box. Good striker of the ball, the Brazilian. Great finish there. As the rain starts to come down a lot here at Merlot Field. That was Hindel, Magana Rivera, and Pereira in the first half. Cobra Reyes. O'Hara and uh, Suarez. Well, that's six different goal scorers as well. Yeah, you love to see that. Six different goal scorers on the field. Unbelievable for the Pilots. What a performance. Ball across and out of the area. Good response from Davidson. Immediately getting into the box for the Pilots. Another shot from distance. No trouble there for Laguda. 
Good strike there. Another chance for Josh Laguda to get get a save, showing his soft hands. And six goals for the Pilots at home. They'll be loving this. Nine goals over two games. Great weekend after the opening weekend of not scoring a goal. We have any marketing giveaways if we score? <laughs> after, six after six goals, I don't know. I don't know. You have to. There be something. There, there should be something. Oh, lovely skill from Ben Ortiz. Ortiz still attacking. Pereira. Juarez. Out wide on the wing. And the Pilots not settling for six. They're still wanting more. Manning, a good ball in. Gaffney will get there. Unbelievable commitment from the Pilots. Still going forward, still committing men forward, showing their quality, quality service into the box. But well defended from the Davidson Wildcats. Long ball played ahead. Laguda trying to get there. Oh my. Well read from Laguda flying out. Had to commit himself. Once you go, you have to get there, and he did well. The Australian fifth year transfer. Eighty six minute. From Merlot, all Portland here tonight. Three in the first half, three more here in the second half. Now just trying to see out a clean sheet. Yeah, it's been a comprehensive performance from the Pilots. Six different goal scorers. They've been all over Davidson throughout the entire game. Haven't given up anything. Showed their quality going forward and haven't given up anything in their own half. They've been so good. And so many different performers have just shown up tonight. It's not like it was one or two people. It's been it's been players all over the field, all different ages, freshmen, sophomores, and seniors. It's as well as juniors. They've been they've been great. The pilots tonight, and still working hard to win the ball back. Ben Ortiz, great performance tonight. Two assists. Beck carrying into the attacking half. Pereira playing a long ball down the wing. Manning's not going to be able to get there. Just over hit from Pereira, but a good look. Substitution here for Davidson. Final few minutes of this match. Justin Stone going to check back in. Yeah, Stone worked hard in the first half. Just difficult night to play as a forward. Having to defend, do a lot of defending, not getting a lot of service. Long ball down the middle. Good old, just clear it back to midfield. Good clearance from Laguda again not losing his concentration quick off his line and finding a teammate in Ben Ortiz who earns a free kick for the pilots and allows them to get their lines up and keep the ball again. Tracy. There's no back. Yeah, not only will the pilots be just over the moon with the six goals, but a shutout huge. They'll love that just as much as scoring a bunch of goals. Especially the goalkeeper Laguda and the center backs O'Hara and Tiaso are, who are not in anymore. But a great performance from the Pilots back line. So I mean shutouts in three of the four games for Portland. Yeah, there you go. They'll love to see that. Got that opening draw against Colgate. And the three nothing win against GW on Friday. Yeah, shutout's so important if you want to have a successful season. Being able to win games 1-0, 2-0, it's not always going to be a 
shootout like this, sco scoring six goals. So I just wish we saw some of this offense against Coastal Carolina. Yeah, yeah, totally that's what they'll game. be. Yep, exactly. That's what they'll be ruining their chances. But once the ball goes in, it's it just continues to go in, and they can take advantage of this momentum that they've built. Well, into the box. Good try from Manning. Excuse me, Suarez trying to find a little cutback ball for his teammates, but just behind all the pilot attackers. Where's that? Now wide to Hal. Trying to cut inside and stretch right there to pick his pocket. Well defended from stretch. And well read from Lagood, and he'll just take his time falling on the ball and getting the ball back into play. Well, Portland also now going forward has some options, a goalkeeper. Yeah. Lagood really wasn't tested tonight, but he was strong on the ball and showed good command back yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Keeping everybody organized. Yeah, and whenever you get a shutout as a goalkeeper, even if you don't have too much to do, it's, uh, it's always huge for the coaches to see shutouts from a goalkeeper. If you're posting shutouts, you're having good performances even though he didn't have too much to do tonight. Doing a lot of organization through his back line. And that is it, a dominant performance tonight by the Pilots. A 6 nothing win here yeah. at home. Back-to-back -back wins for Portland as they head on the road up to Seattle next yeah, week. What a performance from the Pilots, so comprehensive. Six different goal scorers did everything right tonight. The Pilots so good going forward, winning the ball back quickly and attacking the Davidson Wildcats all night. Final score from Merlot, Portland. A big 6 nothing shutout win over Davidson for Matt Coffey and our entire crew. I'm Tom Colker. Thanks so much for watching. You've been watching Pilots Soccer right here on the WCC Network. Have a great evening, everybody.